All right, so let's discuss the current situation with the Los Angeles Rams and their ace wideouts, Puka Nakua and Cooper Cup. This is the Fantasy Sports Boss. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. So I wanted to take a look at both of these guys because uh, not only did they both put forth a really big game last night, Puka Nakua going for over 100 yards, 117 to be exact, and Cooper Cup scoring uh, a touchdown, albeit it was a very late touchdown, but still a touchdown nonetheless. And I wanted to, uh, now that we have both guys back uh, in the fold, of course, Cup being healthy, Puka as well, um, and just to see what the target share is between the two, and if one could be graded ahead of the other. All right, so it was week eight when Cooper Cup made his return to the team, um, and and what's interesting about this is that uh, both players um, on the on the surface look like wide receiver ones, right? Their their target shares, their 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 receptions, all of that. But if you break down the numbers, you do get uh, a little bit more of a clear picture here. So in week eight, Puka Nakua had nine targets, seven catches for 106 yards, all right? Um, and while Cooper Cup in that game, eight targets, five catches, 51 yards. Uh, but he did score a touchdown, all right? Now, uh, week nine, we're going to throw it out because Puka Nakua got uh, tossed from the game uh, due to throwing a punch. So week 10 against the Miami Dolphins, 14 targets, nine catches, 98 yards for Puka Nakua. Uh, seven targets, seven catches, 80 yards for Cooper Cup. So again, Puka Nakua, more targets, more catches. Week 11, all right, nine targets, seven catches, 123 yards to score for Nakua. Uh, 10 targets, so more targets, six catches, 106 yards, and two scores for Cooper Cup. So Cup with 28 points in that one, uh, bested the, the uh, uh, 25 put forth by um Puka Nakua. And then finally last night, 13 targets for Puka Nakua, nine catches for 117 yards. He had 20 fantasy points. Cooper Cup slightly, uh, right 20 on the nose, which is just slightly less than 20 and change for Puka Nakua. He had 11 targets, eight catches for 60 yards and a touchdown. So what are the things we could take here? Well, during that span, Cooper Cup uh, has scored three touchdowns, uh, excuse me, four touchdowns to only one for Puka Nakua. Nakua, meanwhile, has gone over 100 yards in three of those games. Uh, Cooper Cup has gone over 100 yards in two of them. Uh, targets. So we talked about the target situation. So in week eight, uh, Nakua had more targets. In week nine, obviously we're throwing that out because of the punch game. Week 10, again, Nakua had more targets. Uh, week 11, Cup had more targets. And then last night, Nakua had more targets. So Nakua had more targets in three of the four games. He's gone over 100 yards one more time. Cup, meanwhile, has scored... Uh, more touchdowns down that span. So what do we take from this? Well, Puka Nakua, to me, is a solid wide receiver one. Cooper Cup, meanwhile, is a solid to low-end wide receiver one. I think it's just so razor thin between the two. Cup is getting the touchdowns, which is big, but Nakua is getting more targets, and he's getting the yardage, all right, and the reception. So that's three of the four categories Nakua pretty much has over Cooper Cup. So he gets rated higher if you had to choose between the two. But again, you really can't go wrong with either one of them. They both have a splash game coming up against the uh, New Orleans Saints. So let me know what you think about each of these guys. Post in the comments below. More videos on their way soon.